Hey, what's up guys? My name's Tim from Dangerous Sweet, and welcome to 7 Days to Die. Now, I choose my words very carefully here, because this is the PC version of the game. And we've been playing the PS4, and it is absolutely nothing like the PC version. The PC version is so good. So, essentially, we are starting the series over. And it's going to be PC from here on out. Unless I find something really cool that we need to try on the PS4. But otherwise, for the Let's Play, we'll be doing this. Now, don't get me wrong. I absolutely love my PS4. But the game is so different. They... They really botched the PS4 version of this game. This is so much better. I should really be looking for small stone instead of going through these birds nests right now. That's what those are called. But I will be needing feathers. And this isn't going to be the same type of let's play as we did before. Where it was kind of a half-assed tutorial of how to survive the first seven days. This is just a playthrough. This is just to have fun. Okay, now I can make my stone axe. Here we go. Okay. And what is next? Plant fibers. All right. Yeah, one thing I have I really like about this, because I've actually been playing it since I got the PC. I just wasn't sure if I wanted to keep going with the series or not. I really like the Trader Post. And I do have a plan for this playthrough and what I want to do. But I'm going to set my camp up at the Trader Post. I think that'll be a real nice place to get set up so I can always go to the trader. What am I doing? Here we go. That's what I wanted. Now we're just going to wait these out here. Might as well. There we go. Now I am no longer naked. I am, however, very close to the desert. So, is the hat something I can make right now? Yep. I'm going to swap out that hood. And we'll just scrap that hood back. Oh, I've already got the wood. Okay. Oops. So now I'll make my club. And speaking of, I've already got some iron too. How much do I need though? Oh, that's lead. That's not iron. I had a moment. Okay, now we need to make some arrows. I've also found a better way of doing things. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna waste my nights and resources crafting a bunch of axes and bows because I can craft arrows and my weapons crafting still skill still goes up there's a sentence in there somewhere yeah screw it there so that's how I'm going to be raising my skill this time is this clay? Nope, that's sand. I don't need sand. Get out of here. Okay, I still need small stone. There's a big rock. Yeah. Let's go get a bunch over here. Oops. I'm still getting used to the controls a little bit. And even this version, it's been a few, uh, 
well, a couple weeks actually since I've played. But I've made it up to day 12 so far on the PC version. And I just quit playing for a couple of weeks because I started playing Bioshock some more. But I was sitting around tonight and I thought seven, di seven Days to Die would be fun to mess with. And there goes the axe. Okay, let's just make a new one. Actually, can I scrap those? I can scrap those. Pick you back up. Might as well get something out of it. I'm going to finish off this rock here. Got a good amount of small stone now. I got some coal and some nitrate powder too. Awesome. Won't need that for a little while. Raw iron. Can I scrap that to regular iron? Yep. Nice. Now I can make the good club. Okay, so let's... Well, let's just start the bow first. And then I'm going to make as many arrows as I can. Which isn't much right now, but... We'll start some more later. Actually, if I go get some wood, we can make some more now. And that'll do it. There we go. Okay, and those will finish up. craft wood frames which we'll get to in a little bit here because I want to start heading to the city or at least in the general direction of the city so we want to head about right here I'm going to just mark that as an X zero zero and track waypoint okay so that's gonna be our destination we may not actually stay in the city but I want to be close to it well maybe no that's not the case cuz I'm not sure where the trader is actually and I want to be close to the trader or better yet at the trader like I said so we probably should finish out the quests first then it'll point us in the direction of the trader. So let's make those frames real quick. That's my bad. I'm getting myself all backwards here. I hear a chicken out there. Now we'll just make three frames here. It's out in the middle of nowhere. Okay. And do I want to do it? I am getting wood back. It doesn't really seem like it's worth it though. Yeah, I'm I'm not going to waste all that time. I can craft my bedroll. Then I'll just pick it up. Oh, I'll place it and then pick it back up. And while we're waiting, I might as well make some stuff. Or get some stuff, rather. Alright, there's my bedroll. I keep hitting the wrong button. Damn. Alright, bedroll. Pick it back up. Stupid cactus. That looks like the snow biome right over there. Uh, 
Okay, and now to craft a campfire. There's a car over there. We should check that out, too. Oh, and while I'm in here... We'll get that made, too, and we won't even have to worry about that club. Okay, so... Put our campfire down. We're into skill point. Yay, me. And that's just going to be a lonely little campfire in the middle of nowhere. Oh, there's a zombie out there. Locate trader. There we go. That's what we were looking for. So we got our club. We don't need that one. We got our bow and some arrows. Let's go deal with this zombie real quick. Oh, there's a couple of them. One thing I've noticed about the PC version... Zombies aren't nearly as daunting. Like, even the PS... On the PS4 version, even one-on-one, -on -one, they, they're kind of a pain in the butt. And on PC, it's not so bad. Like, the controls aren't as clunky as what I think it is. It's kind of weird. The desert's right next to the snow biome, though. That's what you get with random gin, I guess, though. Oh, nice. Can I get any parts off of it? Actually, this axe is about done, too. I'll be making a lot of these, so I'll go ahead and favorite it. Alright, now we're getting some gasoline. Alright, now all I'm getting is gasoline now, so I'm gonna, gonna go ahead and stop that. And I'll go ahead and make an extra axe for later. Okay, so... Where is the trader? Quests, there we go. Show on map. Okay. Let's do it this way. Because I couldn't see it earlier when I was looking. Oh, there it is. That's a ways away, so I don't know if we'll make it there in this episode, but that's where we're headed. And if I have to hold up somewhere for the night, I can probably do that. I'm just going to stop and pick stuff up along the way. Oh, there's a chicken. Oh, there's a zombie over there, too. Stupid freaking cactus. Where'd the chicken go? Don't need that. Stop it. Okay. I guess I'm not going to get the chicken. I'm searching this bird nest, though. Can't take that away from me. I'm not even going the right way. There we go. Oh, nice. 
There's a zombie looking for some killing. I should probably load my bow. That would be a smart thing to do. Come here. And I'm not any better at shooting in this version of the game than I am in the other. Got some cash though. Lots of yucca fruit. Is that clay? Nope, not clay. I don't know why I think everything's clay when it's not clay. That seems to be a problem for me tonight. And another zombie. Hey, buddy. That's for you. And so is that. Hey, sweet. My inventory is going to start filling up pretty quick here. So if we could get somewhere like the trader, that would be quite nice for me. Okay, guys. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here because all I'm really doing is running toward the trader now. So, if anything cool comes up, I will let you guys know. Other than that, all I'm doing is running toward the trader. And we'll pick this up when we look, get a little bit closer. And after we kill this dude. There we go. You bastard, you didn't have anything for me. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that like button. And I'll see you guys next time. Later, guys.